that's true, but I never am because sports are my life. Um, and that's next week on Clubhouse Inside Baseball. <laughs> Dude, what, what is this? Not bad for a fat guy. TG100. Whoa! 100. What a milestone. Green 80! Sorry, I've been working on that. What's up? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. 100, bro. That's awesome. 100 eps? Never thought we'd do it, honestly. Never right? thought we'd do it. Right? Um, after after we stopped doing our pod initially, I was like, might never might never do that again. But mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. going strong. Like it. Like it a lot, it dude. And, and the, the fact that it's not a sports podcast, too, it's just so perfect. There's just, you know, there's just so many of those out there. And, um, yeah, the fact that you can get two guys together, one in their basement, one in who, uh, who knows a closet of some sort, who knows, and they don't talk about sports and they don't reminisce on stories that people weren't there for. And uh, they've been doing it for 100 episodes and it's, it's really just great. You know, and so all kudos to uh, the folks who listen in the clubhouse um, because you get it. You know, you get it. They the the clubhouse understands, and the fact that we've had a hundred episodes and we haven't mentioned Christmas once, amazing. It's pretty tough to do, even around the holidays. You know, so shout out to the clubhouse for sticking around because God, you know, I mean, me me and Ben, we used to say this seven eight years ago. You know, who's listening? Who's, who's listening, listening to that? Dude, who man. is who's listening or watching this? <laughs> just, <laughs> dude, this is the clubhouse full of idiots, dude. Love it. <laughs> who cares? <laughs> the amount of times clubhouse back in the day, and it would still probably be this way if you know we lived in the same city. Uh, but the amount of times where we would be going back and forth over a video of some sort or just an idea of anything. And Ben would just go, ah, I mean, who's watching that? <laughs> so the I who's say bu- it every day. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck is the, watching that? The who's buying this that you've come to know and love from Benedict online? Uh, that was taking place uh, about seven years prior, all in the form of uh, who is even going to watch or listen to this? <laughs> <so>. <laughs> it haunts me to this day. Hey, can I push tickies real quick? Austin, Tex, October 3rd is coming up. San Diego, November 7th. Buffalo, November 14th. Back to back. Phoenix, December 5th. December, whoa. We should like talk about December, maybe. And then New Hampshire, January 25th. That'll be fun. Come out. BennyPolizzi.com for your ticks. Glad glad you're going there because I still don't think it's real. So. I don't think it is either. I think it's a whole fake fake. I'm like, what? what is it? How is there even an airport? Right. That's just like a, a land of area that the United States government owns that they just like put things at that. New Hampshire is like the United States drunk drawer or like their closet. I kind of you know, think the they're just still- like you're cleaning up. <laughs> People are coming over to clean it up. You're just like, oh, just, you know, I, I, I love I love playing that game as a dad of two and a, and, a, and a married man. I love playing the old, is our house clean or we just shove everything into a closet? It's, it's a weekly thing. Um, but yeah, that's kind of New Hampshire. And I know it's, I, I've seen the pictures. It's gorgeous. I know it's got great landscape, but who's living there? You know, Dude, you can make anything look good on the internet. <laughs> I'm sure New Hampshire's catfishing us. That's true. Show us a, a body of water with a bridge. Every city ever. <laughs> oh my god, it's beautiful. Shut up, dude. Every city ever. I'm pretty sure there's still like pilgrims there. I don't know, but I'm coming, mommy. Shut up, my ass. Uh, I'll push a little. Some just. I don't have tickets to push right now, but uh, I will push that if you aren't a user on DraftKings and if you like to gamble on sports, um, sign up, download the DraftKings Sportsbook app, sign up, use my code Joey, J-O-E-Y, 
just like I say out loud to the Starbucks people every time, sometimes you don't know what you're going to get. All right. Code Joey, J-O-E-Y. You deposit $5. You get $250 in bonus bets. And I got another deal coming later this week. That's DraftKings Sportsbook. So you could do that. Also, I've uh, been posting some new impressions, been posting some new stand-up clippies. So if you could go... Um, engage show those love you know leave a comment what you like and uh maybe share it or something uh that'd be a great that'd be a great honor that'd be uh doing doing me a favor so uh appreciate that a lot dude um i think bro the comments on the youtube on the pod last week were if you comment on any of our videos ever no matter what it is and you just say wayne corbett love you (laughs) yeah People really took that to heart. So I, just, I appreciate people really listening to me. Nothing better in this entire world than that. So thank you so much, Clubhouse. Love you for real. Mm-hmm. But again, we'll remind you when we're getting all this technical shit out front, like I always say, like we always say, five, ten people send the show. Hey, drop this in. They just talk about Brad Favre. They talk about whatever the fuck they want to every week. They're fun. We like them. We want to go have a beer with them. A phone me ask beer hit the subscribe comment red red right and we'll uh, keep dropping more inside clubhouse stories there was a there's one that i was have we told the origin of drunk chicks no hey we need to we need to talk about dead air too it's been on my <laughs> okay. mind every day did i wake up in the middle Dude. of the night and i'm like we need to talk clubhouse about dead air every week i'm like god they need to know they should know and i feel like they do Go ahead, bro. Do you want to? Do you want to? Okay, I'll lead us off. I'll lead us off with drunk chicks. Uh, so it was like six or seven years ago. Me and Ben were working at the same station. The station about, about this? Yes, the station. How about this? That station. <laughs> Best comment and, ever. And uh, we got we got we got tapped by uh, the one of these. You know, kind of like basically me and Ben still joke about this. It's like us in five years. Um, it's just these two five days, two middle aged dudes who host the show. <laughs> And, um, you know, they just look, they love beer and gambling and boobs. They love all that. Yeah. And so we got tapped by them to go to carb day at the Indy 500 the Friday before the race and do like man on the streets interviews. And when the dude who asked us to do it, you know, it's like at the time it was like, wow, this is like a cool opportunity, like a, a big show in Indianapolis. So we get to go like do shit for whatever. And, um, the dude, the dude who was giving us direction, he just kept saying like, we're just like, yes, like, what do you, what do you want? Like, what do you want us to get here? You know, like, yeah, yeah. he'd be like, oh man, you know, just do your thing. You know, should we trust you guys? Just talk to a bunch of drunk chicks. You know, just like you see some drunk chicks, just go up and talk to them and, you know, just get some audio for some drunk chicks. And we were like, oh, okay, right on. Yeah, we can do that. He's like, you know, just like people would love to hear from some drunk chicks out there. Just, we're like, <laughs> just, so, dude, what, the amount of time. <laughs> what should we ask? Should we ask anything specific? I don't know. I'll just go out there and get some audio. Just, I don't know, interview some drunk chicks. We're like, dude, <laughs> we both walked away and we we're like, dude, how many times did that motherfucker say drunk chicks, dude? And it wasn't chicks. It was chicks. C-H-Y-U-C-K-S. <laughs> dude that was literally the only direction the entire time you know it wasn't like hey do you have like a specific set of questions you want us to ask is this like a trivia thing or we, oh no just find drunk chicks just just go up and find a big group of drunk chicks and just put the mic in their mouth and it'll be funny just find the drunk chicks 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 like, oh, all right so the next day that's pretty much what we did we just look for drunk chicks <laughs> but like we so like now <laughs> i don't know man if they asked me and you to do that again i'd probably say yeah <laughs> i'm not gonna lie i'd be like i'm not above that at all like let's run it no let's find some chill who's above drunk chicks <laughs> you know? hey and uh, did we find any drunk chicks no nah, it was just all dudes so we kind of failed the mission <laughs> I don't even know, dude. I would love to see that video. It's, we're never going to see that again. That's, I don't even know if that video Please. or audio saw the light of day after it. But yeah, I don't know if it aired. But they said they liked it. We were know, so whatever. straight but, yeah, interview. So now that's uh, now that's something that you can add into the clubhouse arsenal. Is you know, if you guys are like, oh, what are we doing on Friday night? I don't know. It's just like go be around some drunk chicks. <laughs> 
Should we go there? I don't know. Are there any drunk chicks there? Drunk chicks. <laughs> chicks. Chicks. Do the word chicks. Or it could, it could also it could also work on the uh, the opposite way. You know, maybe it's just like ah, I don't want to go to that place. That the, there's just too many drunk chicks. Dude, that bar is just out of control, man. The the chicks are way too drunk. I don't want to be around that many drunk chicks. Chicks. Chick. Chick. <laughs> Dude, who's an NFL player All with right. the name Chuck? Is there one? NFL player. Named I should Chuck. know, dude. I should know. Hey, 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 hey. 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 This one's even better. Former right tackle for the Pittsburgh Steelers, Chooks Acorafor. Chuck Acorafor. <laughs> Drunk Chucks of Corafor. Chuck Chuck Knobloch. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, bro. But these same these same dudes, <laughs> these same dudes that we like did the man on the street the found found the drunk chucks for. They like we we like looked up to them, or I still look up to them actually. And before we knew anything about radio, they were like in the break room, and that's where me and Joey would do like all our stupid little skits and sketches and stuff like that. And we'd always pop in there and get coffee from time to time. And one of the guys was like talking to us, and I don't know, we were like kind of nervous. <laughs> and like throughout this throughout the station, like the the whatever was on air would be playing out loud, like. And so you could hear what was like, who was talking or who was like doing a show. And like, if it got silent for a second, everybody would be like, oh shit. Like that means like somebody messed up and somebody like forgot to play a commercial or forgot to like move it to the next segment. And like the, the golden rule in radio is like, you can't have like any silence on the radio. Something's silence. always got to be playing. <laughs> It was quiet for like three seconds. And one of those two guys that told us to go find the drunk chicks was like, dead air. And he said, <laughs> dude, and it like echoed throughout the So any, anytime, I don't know, anytime it's quiet or like anytime we, someone says something about air, me and Joe are just like dead air. I don't know. Not, not as good as drunk chicks, but I think about it every two seconds. No, nah, it's. It's still good because yeah, it's 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 something that we say on a regular, and uh, it also like you said, it can apply if you're in like a weird like awkward silence situation. Just hit him with a dead air and walk away, and and then it's off of you in an elevator. Dead air. <laughs> what? So that's your uh, inside clubhouse uh, stories of the week. Inside, inside, inside there. clubhouse. So now we're up to no bed for a fat guy. Red, red, red. Straight should know about this. Dead air and drunk chicks. chicks. So, there you go. Um, dude, okay. So I have, I, I took a couple notes for, for TG. A couple TG notes. Oh, I got a note for you. Last week. Uh, one I want to start off with is how wild of a Twilight Zone world is it when... You're falling, you're like, you're in bed and it's Thursday night football or Saturday night football or whatever. Burpee boy. What time is it? Whoa. I love you, burpee boy. Whoa. Whoa. You, you're winding down, you know? So it's, it's, it's like 10, 15. So second half maybe just started or it's the second quarter, whatever. At like 930. All right. What if like, you're like. You, you you doze off and you fall asleep and you fall asleep in like the second quarter, but then you wake up, either you're just tossing and turning or you have to go to the bathroom or something and you wake up and the game is over and they're like in the weird post game mm-hmm. commentary, you know? Yeah. Like the screen up, the, 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 the graphic up on the board is like final uh, Detroit 26, LA 20. And the music's playing and you're like, Oh no, I missed the whole what what happened? I missed the second half. It's over now. Mm-hmm. When I went to sleep, it was just starting. I missed the whole entire thing and now it's in this weird post-game commentary. I didn't even see it. It doesn't exist. But it's done. It, it's like a weird time to be in. That like 2 minutes, you're just out of whack. Like when you finally okay, so you you're saying you fall asleep and you miss like the second half of the whole entire game and they're at the post-game. Yeah. 
Yeah, so you fall asleep with like six minutes to go in the second quarter or something. Like you, because you're not like it's not your team. You're not watching it. It's on. You're keeping an eye on it, but then you fall asleep and you, you wake up and it's in the post game. And I don't know. It first, so it happened to me on Thursday night, and it was just the weirdest thing ever. You just yeah, you're like what? Like I don't know. It's part of me kind of likes it. I feel like I'm. I felt like I missed out on so much. Like I was kind of sad. Like it's kind of like a minor version of like, yeah, you know how sometimes you'd have like a dream that you like went to sleep and you missed Christmas or something. <laughs> Holy shit, dude! It's uh, it's every time I fall asleep for or take a nap, I feel like I miss out on everything in the world. You know, like you you fall you take a nap, you you wake up and you get on Twitter and you're like, why did I just miss the ten of the most important events in my lifetime? It's kind of like that type of vibe, but it's like the Rams and Lions, so not really. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why it just weirds me out so much, and it puts me in a weird twilight zone. But I'm like, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna fall asleep in the second quarter, I want to I'm gonna wake up at 4 a.m. So I'm like, all right, cool, nothing is going on right now. Like I know I missed it, but like it's nothing that a quick check of the Sports Center app or Twitter can't fix. All good. I could start my day. Get the recap. <laughs> Have but to know it happened weird, in the second right half. Right when you wake up. Have to know it happened in the second half. No, it's uh hey, remember? Okay. Um <laughs> all right, so college football on Saturday, the whole day. There's so many yeah. games, so many like badass plays and highlights and stuff like that. The mm-hmm. fact that they all just evaporate from the face of the earth when like the clock strikes midnight and it's like NFL Sunday. You know what I mean? You can't find college football highlights anywhere after midnight on Saturday. I've never been able to do it. You know what I'm talking about? Dude, no, I can't find one college football highlight on a Sunday. They don't exist anymore. Yep. Like it never happened. That's why back in the day, it was so important to have that final word with uh, Lou Holtz and Mark May. and Reese Davis. football final? Was that happening at like 1 a.m.? Take yeah, it. it's not midnight of Saturday night. It's dun, dun, after dun, college dun, football dun. final. It's after college football final and that weird West Coast game that would be going on until 2 a.m. Beautiful. They don't do that anymore? No, they do, but they don't do the um, final debate or whatever that you have uh, with Lou Holtz and Mark May. I just hated that so much. I was like, where am I supposed to see anything on Sunday? I'd like Google it. I'd be like Michigan highlights. <laughs> I'd find a game from like 2018. I was like, never mind, dude. Forget it. And then you just then you just totally miss NFL Sunday because you go in a rabbit hole of watching Chad Henney to Mario Manningham. Watching John Navarre. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute, dude. He he started for two years. <laughs> Why was Anthony Thomas the only one wearing black cleats? Then, then I just then I just <laughs> go down that list of YouTube videos on the right side of the uh-huh. screen. Uh-huh. All right. What's well, your note? That's that was one of mine. You said you have one. Let's see. Dead air. Uh let's see. Hold on. And taking too long and dead air. Uh, hey, can we go back to uh, this is not a sports podcast, but can we go back to uh, like football teams taking their team pictures, like standing on like military tanks? <laughs> remember that shit? <laughs> like in high school? No, I remember. I remember that. Yeah, it wouldn't be <laughs> tanks, dude. <laughs> that was sick. Dude, the old bleacher picks. I just, I just remember, I just remember like it would be it would line up to like what part of town the school is from, you know. So you'd have like rural Center Grove, and they'd be on top of like trucks from like 1955, or or fire trucks. Like, Ooh, what? okay. A football, a bunch of seniors with just their football jerseys on, no pads, just on a fire truck. Hey, jeans, cargo shorts, the bluest jeans. Cargo. Dude, I hate it when there was a football like team picture in the front row, just had a bunch of like shoes on. Dude, I hate that so much. Just different ass shoes. Every kid, they're like dirty. 
Sound like no one has cool shoes in the whole pick. And for some <laughs> reason, lawn mowing shoes. <laughs> yeah, bro. It's like, oh, damn, today's picture day. I brought like the wackest shoes ever because I was just going to change into cleats after, you know what I mean? And then go to practice. And then you, bro, it's always a dude, picture day for a team. Always, always the worst day ever. Or just like on the Photoshop person, photo crop that shit out. It looks weird though if you, if no one has feet in the picture. <laughs> well, that's where you got to. Hey, you've done this shit before. If you're like in the design world, you got to get creative and blend it in and everything to make a, the background match oh, up yeah, to true, the. True, true. Get, get creative. Nobody's looked worse in a picture than an entire football team and the coaches. Those like a hey, those those like uh the like Ohio State's college football team picture. Who's looking at that first of all? Like, why are they yeah. taking that picture? Where's that going in the program? In the football where program, super, where it's super zoomed out. Yeah, and it's like off center in the bleachers somewhere, and you're like, half the photo is bleachers. Like, guys, crop this up a little bit. It's so bad. And there's like 70, there's more coaches and players now, trainers and shit. I'm like, let's involve the whole community too, I guess. Donors, let's just, everybody get in this pick. So many people. Hey, it becomes like one of those, you know, when you're like high school class would all like line up and spell out the year you're graduating and they take like an overhead shot on the football it's, it's field. It's kind of that. I wouldn't be mad That's at what that college either. football is now. That's what their photos are. Dude, that would actually be sick if a team did that. I could see like Colorado <laughs> doing that or something. Yeah. Yeah, probably. Yeah, no, I just remember like, <laughs> it's funny you're saying this too, because I literally just had Friday Night Lights on in the background while I was working on shit, like the TV show, not the movie. Oh, uh, yeah. So you confusing know, others not, too. Not a sports guy, not a sports podcast, but, you know, had to have it on. <laughs> uh, just good background noise, right? As they say. Right, right, right. And, uh, but it's just so funny, man. You go down into these rural areas or, or, or a town like that and in and, and the Texas Roadhouse, there's like the posters of the seniors with the schedule up. You're like, hell yeah. What? Like for you what? You this FaceTime at Texas Roadhouse, bro? Everybody goes here. It's, it's, it's the most random ass schools too. I'm like, why is the Greenwood basketball team on the wall at this Applebee's? Greenwood basketball, 2003? <laughs> Who cares? They didn't win. They're just on the wall. Like they literally didn't win. They're just like a mediocre ass team. <laughs> oh three, oh four, Woodman. Yeah, dude. Applebee's is such that restaurant, dude. They'll do like different corners too. I'm like, like oh. one corner would be like fucking <laughs> Whiteland. The next one's Greenwood. I'm like, huh? I use in there. Indy five hundred. Like, all right. Uh, <laughs> Do you guys have a seating prefer preference? I'm like the UND corner. <laughs> Alpha dogs. Hey, picture of Joe Poe in there. Holding a football. Whistle in his <laughs> mouth. <laughs> but like the pictures aren't even UND. They fucked up. And it's like a different. It's like a whole. It's like I some IU too. You're like, dude. Can we sit at the DePaul corner by the DePaul wall? DePaul wall, dude. It's just Paul wall. <laughs> that would be awesome. That's the corner your mom doesn't want to sit in. <laughs> no, we're not sitting. And it's no, no, it's too much. It's too much. Dude, what's Applebee's? There's another restaurant like that. Shit. Forgot I was going to say dead air. That's going to piss me off. The Wabash oh, Corner. No. We were talking about. So oh, well, forget it. Forget it. Whatever. Doesn't even matter. Can we just talk um, about. Can we just talk about NFL Blitz real quick? How good was that announcer? Game? We are underway. We ever, That's always in my head. Do we ever get an ID on who that guy is? What? The guy that's the announcer for that? Yeah. I'm kind of thinking, why isn't that guy the announcer for like real sports? Or was he fake? Like, was that AI? 
That's I, I that's what I'm trying to figure out. Was this like an undercover dude who was an actual like Kevin Harlan, you know? Or or was it just a voice actor that nailed it? I th- it's gotta be or a voice robot. actor. But I'm like, why isn't he doing the Super Bowl? That guy was crispy for all those games, NHL, MLB Slugfest. Not a sports podcast, not a reminiscent podcast, not a nostalgic podcast. Not a video game podcast. Dude, this is a, I'm proud to be a video game podcast if this that's what this is. I'm proud to be a video game podcast where at least I know I'm free. <laughs> Dude, like can we remake that song? Where we can talk <laughs> about I'm on green and I proudly stand up. <laughs> and I won't forget the controllers who died when I would press B and it wouldn't work. <laughs> oh shit. I don't know the rest of the words. Dead air. Right, right, right. Every Dead time, air. every time we mess up, just say all the, all the same. Station all by this drunk shit. <laughs> um. uh, yeah, I don't know. But I think I, that guy's voice, Dude. man, stuck in my head forever. is so clean. Is that legal? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's real good. I remember I did a voices draft when I was working at Barstool. And uh, one of the ones I pulled out was the EA Sports. It's in the game. And people were like, oh, yeah, I pulled that one out. That was probably my best pick. Got it in like the fifth round or something. Wow, that in the fifth round? That's a first round pick in the fifth. That was a sleeper. Yeah, no, nice. I know. That's where everybody was like, oh my God. But I thought, I was like, I don't know. People do well, people even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Anyways, still see that video once a year that pops up with that one dude who uh, is, like sees that guy in public, somehow knows who it is. And right. <laughs> the how guy, do you know? He, like, the kid, the, it's got to be your friend's dad. He's just like, pretty good. EA Sports in the game. The way he was like, watch this. I was like, oh God, here we go. Oh <laughs> you are watching a master at if work. You say, yeah. If you say watch this, like you better come with the heat. You can't say watch this and bomb. Watch this. Whenever, when it, <laughs> whenever anybody in public asks me, like uh, whenever I'm out, asks me to do an impression, I never hit watch. Never in a million years ever would I. I always am just like, ah, oh, dude, this is gone. It's too loud in here. I, I've had too many drinks, yeah. had two beers. Ah, oh, dude, no, I can't. Just because well, I know that they're gonna make me do it, and I inevitably want to not. Unless you're around some up. drunk chicks. That's true, but I never am because sports are my life. Um, and that's next week on Clubhouse Inside Baseball. Dude, what what is this? <laughs> what is this? They're just dude, they're flowing now. I'm hey, sorry. Hey, they're just, flowing. Just, I can't hey, help it. Hey, just just one thing and then will you tell that story about that? One thing and we tell the story about uh sports are my life. <laughs> can I get a can we get a minute? Ooh. Yeah, they were, uh, had an email or ask about that last week. It's all, it's all, it's all anybody wants. Honestly, it's the only recent reason I'm doing this podcast is for the Molinar minute. All right, <laughs> yes, dude. Hold on, let me set the timer. I, Hold on, timer, timer, timer. Okay, okay. All right, three, two, one. I'm having a really hard time so far with football season. Because I love Sunday night football so much. I think Tarico is a G. He's a legend. Collinsworth, obviously, me and him are tied together forever. Here's a guy, right? I am struggling so much with figuring out what the hell is going on with the NBC Sunday night football pregame show. They're all robots up there. First of all, Devin McCourty wearing that box suit with no tie and the button all the way top to the top. Chris Sims doing the same thing. Jason Garrett is a fake person. He is not real. He doesn't know how to talk or interact with people. Poor Maria Taylor. She's just up there having to like fake laugh at everything. Rodney Harrison constantly trying to go viral. Tony Dungy. God love him. He's a God fearing man. He did a lot of great things for Indianapolis, but I think it might be time to hang it up, man. It's fascinating to me that we have the biggest show on TV, NBC Sunday Night Football and the lead 
lead up to that show is such a questionably bad product. <laughs> Can you do the Mel Kiper I, after that? I did Mel Kiper and I fucking hit the post <laughs> like Rake on that. Not bad for a pet cat. <laughs> I hit that at one minute on the dot. First Moldar minute of the fall. <laughs> Dude, it's a, it's a, the first. I just love Molinar minute season. I don't know why we took off the off season. Is it is it just an NFL thing? I think it's. A, I think it should be every. No, week. it's not an NFL thing, but it's just. I think it plays better in the fall. Everything just plays better when there's fall. So routine. The summertime and everything. It's such a hodgepodge. Everyone no one knows, knows what the hell is going, going on, on. What day it is. Where they're going. What's happening. What the. Once you get in the fall, it's like, okay, we got school. We're back in the shit. We know we got a routine. Thursday night football, Saturday college, Sunday. Blah, blah, blah. It's, it just makes sense for Molnar Minute to come back. So, uh, me, I've just been really struggling with that, dude. Like, it's between watching the opening night kickoff where they had to fill like 25 extra more minutes because of the rain delay. I mean, the amount of just like bad cliches and just like, <laughs> Dude, it's brutal. Can't watch. Uh, it sounded like not a good uh, like cast of people either, really. Like the people you just named That's during what that. I'm saying. But who the hell? Okay, I know who they are, but like, why are they? Why are they on the pregame show? It should be Maybe like your A list, right? Night football. A list, right? Sunday night. Yeah, Sunday night football is the most watched television like program every single year. Sunday and night I football. Just, I mean, it's yeah. Above Monday Night Football? Yeah. No way, bro. Oh, yeah. Who's on Who's on the Monday Night Football pregame? Not that this is a football podcast or anything. <laughs> uh, that changes seemingly every year. I think this year it's Scott Van Pelt, Jason oh, Kelsey, and, uh, go. and uh, Booger McFarland, I think. Pretty good. But it wasn't like that. It wasn't always like that. Like, I think Laura Rutledge hops in sometimes. Rutledge. RG3 was on it. Um, and now you got Joe Buck and Troy Aikman who call Monday Night Football, which helps. But I still think that Sunday Night Football is king because they always have kick-ass games. <laughs> Monday Night Football still, like, tonight, we're recording tonight, or Monday like we usually do. And, yeah, you got Jets 49ers tonight, which would be a huge draw. But, like, come week three, you're always getting, like, the Cardinals and the Rams like it's weird you know but then Sunday night football is constantly like oh shit you know it's like something pretty uh, good uh, yeah it's like Bills Chiefs or like um, Steelers Ravens or 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 Bengals Bills or you know it's one of those on every week on Sunday night football Cowboys fucking uh, Steelers hey so Monday night yeah. football Christmas Sunday night football Christmas Eve Na- I, that's <laughs> the truest words you've ever spoken. <laughs> that's the only thing I want to talk about. All they do on their podcast is like relate things to Christmas and Christmas Eve. <laughs> that's the truest thing that's that you've ever said. <laughs> that's absolutely 100% it. Sounds good to me. So, you know, it's like I, I, I still watch it and I still, but and, ah, dude, it's just. Again, because I'm in, we're we're in this field, kind of. I'm in this field, but I and I so I hate to be like a critic, but it's just I'm watching. Like, what the hell is going on? It's crazy. Who's watching that? <laughs> oh, that's a callback, and that right there, folks, is what we call a callback. Nice minute, bro. Really glad to have the minute back. I was thinking about it all day yesterday. Thanks. Yeah, it felt good. It felt pretty clean. It felt <laughs> on the nose. On the dot. Uh, I'm gonna see if I have any more notes. Hold up. Things okay. that while you're doing that, while you're doing that, I'll tell one more clubhouse story. Um, so there's this dude that me and Ben went to college with, kinda, and uh, he's just like a classic. Like when you think of like local sports broadcaster, it's this guy, and he works in like a relatively small market still to this day, and he just like loves it, kills it. Like he know, does crush. He has 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 a passion for it, but he's just like when you think of sports guy on the air, it's this guy. And so me and Ben, like we used to, he used to have he he'd go live on Facebook while he was on the air. <laughs> and so me and Ben would like prop that up while we were like writing and like working on shit just for shits and giggles. And 
<laughs> Which is also like pretty good move on him going live on like the internet it's live stream while you're going live yeah. on the radio. So he, I was like, yo, kind of a kind of killing it. Two and totally. One. Yeah. And uh, this guy's like a pro. Like I said, like he's he's a pro. It's no faulting him there. But there's just this one ep- one episode where he was he was going live and we were tuned into it, had it on. And <laughs> he's like trying to like kind of be relatable in a way. Uh, talking about how like, you know, these are the things that I don't talk about with my wife and I don't talk about that because I love sports. Sports are my life. And, <laughs> and <laughs> me and Ben just, just this is one of those things this guy real, bro? Oh, bro. Couldn't believe that he's real. Like he's the kind of dude that's just like, and it's not the same for one Paul George. <laughs> Bro, I remember, so now, I was listening to that in the car and I just look at you and I go, one Paul George? Bro, you fuck. We both didn't say a word for probably four minutes. <laughs> Oh, dude. So that's, uh, yeah. Whenever we get too sportsy, you'll, you'll hear a, uh, sports are my life because <laughs> I love sports and sports are my life. Sports are my life because sports <laughs> are my life and my life is sports, 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 sports. sports. And I know you, <laughs> sports, and I know you sports, don't, sports, you don't, sports, <laughs> sports, sports, sports are my life, life, life. La la life. Sports are my life. Dude, oh my take. Not a hot take. This is not something I know you don't listen for my takes. You listen for sports, not for my takes, because sports are my life. <laughs> takes, takes, takes. Dude, just sports. Was, <laughs> sport, all sports broadcasters thinking about all weekend takes, 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 takes in their head. Walking around their living room. <laughs> takes, takes, takes. Need hot takes. What's my take? What's my take? Takes, takes, takes. He wants. He says that because he wants to have his take and say it too. <laughs> These things are sounding like hot takes. <laughs> Oh, uh, you got any more notes? No, I just wrote the same thing four times. And in the middle of it, it says. Uh, On the first day of football season, my true love gave to me. I don't know why it says that, but it just does. Maybe we can make a song out of that. I have no idea why that's in there, but. Uh, yeah. Now sports podcast. Sports We're going to come up with some songs. We got we got a few songs that are in the fucking bank here hey, i'm coming i'm coming to indy on uh september 18th so like soon let's yeah do, let's do something uh i'm gonna be oh i yeah i'm gonna be in florida next week S- Jim, shit Jim. we should not be talking about right now but yeah what the fuck well, I don't even, sorry i don't know what the date <laughs> is no i brought it up it's my fault um all right Let's go to, let's uh, get to the club, bro. Let's go to the clubhouse. Yeah, let's go to, let's go to the clubhouse. Let me get, let me, we're going to play a little catch up here. We're going to play. Yeah. Um, grab your mustard because I got the catch up. Um, <laughs> this is from John. Let me relish in these real quick. <laughs> Team these guys at. <laughs> Team these guys at gmail.com. Uh, from John, subject line bop, 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 or da, da, da. Joey and Benny, you may ask yourself, is this a sports podcast? And is this a sports question? And the answer is, when it's not sports, how do we make it sports related? So the question is, when Sweet Caroline comes on at a sporting event or wedding, when the chorus starts going, Sweet Caroline, do you go, bop, 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 or do you go, da, 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 which one is it? Or is it not either of those? Slap my ass, what's up, style with a cordless house phone in 1999 during Monday night football commercial break while wearing Benny's $400 tongue out limited edition screen mask. Oh, Love you guys. Thanks for the entertainment. Dude, what a great poll, man. I forgot about that mask. Still have it because it was $400. But, um, <laughs> dun, 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 ba, ba, ba. I think I might do both. 
Sweet. I think. Ba, no. ba, ba. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not. It's not either one of those for me. Yeah, it's a mix of both. It's not. I don't go bop bop bop. I do what you do. Sweet Caroline. Ba ba ba. B a h b a h b a h. Mm-hmm. Ba ba ba. But sometimes I might go dun dun dun. No, nah, I think I do ba. I think I do ba with the ba. Hey, or from around Purdue people, we do sweet Caroline. I you sucks. Really? Yeah. So Purdue. Hey, <laughs> so off topic, but what is that picture next to you on the couch to your right? <laughs> Other way. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> so Elvis. Just, yeah, dude. Why, bro? Why is that there, dude? That's that's what you win at the fair, bro. A picture that big, <laughs> you won that at the fair. You're like, ah, uh, should I get the Elvis one or the Wiz Khalifa one? <laughs> no, After I you throw dude. like three balls no, in a barrel, <laughs> bro. I told you, I got this at a flea market. Oh, nice. Why is it right there? Just because goes. it fell. <laughs> The cats or some shit probably knocked it down, mm. so it was just on the couch. Bro, cats. But oh my god. Nothing safe in your house. Got too with many cats. of them. Got too many of them. Uh, yeah, but it's with a theme. You know, like you said, it's Joey's basement, so it's just a bunch of I was you know, just like shit. wondering if you were gonna bust that out or you're like hiding it or something. It was just there and I was like, Who is that? I thought I thought it was Randall nope. Cunningham for a second. I was like, that'd be funny. Are you lonesome tonight? All right. Uh, so bad impression. Okay. From Dustin Morgan. Uh, whoops. From Dustin. Uh, Takeo Spikes. Hey, guys. I hope the coffee today has been exquisite. Question for both of you. Did you guys used to do the thing that teenage boys do where you try to look really tall in pictures and sneakily stand on your tippy toes a little bit? Especially trying to be as tall as Big Dad and get comments from family about how much you're growing. That, of course, carries over into sports pictures where all the boys are standing as tall as humanly possible and lifting their heads way up, almost tearing ligaments in their body by stiffening and stretching so much. Boys always trying to be big. Slap my ass and pray as hard as you can that it's going to be dodgeball for PE today. Oh, my God. What a good uh, closer. How about when you didn't know what PE was going to be? What you guys do to the class that already went? Mm. What you guys do? Mm. dude in passing and then you'd have one friend that like you never really knew they're a wild card so like they'd say something cool you're like but they could they're probably bullshitting me oh no I hated that kid <sighs> would you like, get no way dude? King said it's dodge oh it's probably it's probably lame. He's probably just getting me all hyped up so I get disappointed. Sometimes it was too good to be true. You ask your homie what you what what'd you guys do in PE? Dodgeball. I was like, it's not gonna be dodgeball for our, our class. We have like the bad kids and shit, you know? <laughs> like they're gonna change it on us. I always thought that I was like, we're not gonna get dodgeball, bro. We're gonna get like the big parachute thing. Like it's like a <laughs> flex week and like the PE teacher was too like was doing something else and didn't like make the lesson plan. So you bring out the parachute. That's the PE teachers like TV that they wheel in. The parachute. That's not bad. I hated that. Honestly, yeah. I was like, cool, but like, okay. How about those little carts? Do you remember the little tiny, like they were like scooters, but they were, you had to sit on them and yeah. your fingers would get jammed in the wheels and shit. You run over your own fingers. Why was that a thing in BE? I was like, what is this for? Did they have a deal no on idea. those little things? Because every everyone has had like an experience with those little. They went so fast, but I was like, why do we have these? Yeah, it was just like, hey, you buy 12 of these, you get like 45 kickballs. Oh, like, OK. There was always that one kickball that was like way better than the others for dodgeball. Dude, you get that red ball. Dude, you're planting it in somebody's face. All you want to do. The most lit day in PE. Did you guys have this? Do you remember this one? Like this is when like 
uh, Razor scooters were big. And we brought, we got to bring our scooters into PE. Did that happen for no, you guys? No, we didn't have this. Oh, no, because I remember uh, for my seventh birthday, I got a red Razor scooter. It was unbelievable. And uh, I, I would remember bringing it into school, but I don't think we did. With the little shocks on the wheels? <laughs> yeah. Went so hard. Yeah. But, but, yeah. but our PE teacher was like, yeah, bring your scooters in and we're going to have like scooter day. So sick. Oh, my God. Uh, All right. Let's keep going. We should, we should probably answer his question to actually. Uh, Dustin asked if we tried to like be taller in pictures. Oh, I still do. I still do. I still get, I still kind of, I still kind of raise my heels this much when I'm like in a picture. Cause everybody's taller than me every time. Mm. Next to a girl that's I tall. Mean, you're- I'm like, God dang. Mm. Let me fix my entire posture. Yeah. I, I, I mean, we're both pretty tall guys as you know, relatively to your average American male. Yeah. Still short though. <laughs> still always 5'10 somehow. I'm like, how am I still 5'10? It does suck that I don't know. I was thinking about that. I was like, because Tom Brady was on the call yesterday. Hey, did he and suck? Sure that the, I thought he was fine. I mean, you could tell he was a little nervous and this is his first time doing it in front of 32 million people, but like he didn't suck. He, I just would say he wasn't like a seasoned vet yet, which he's not. Yeah, I just saw like some Twitter uh, stuff. And I was like, "Oh, did he like blow it? What happened?" Oh, whatever. No, it's just people are insane and like like I said, like, okay, that's his first time doing this and he has to do it in front of 32 million people <laughs> yeah, watching. That's, that's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> like, okay, Steve from accounting, like, do not you go fucking punch some numbers for 32 million people? Yeah, don't mess up. Sorry. I I'm, I'm I I'm a I'm a Brady I'm a Brady uh what do you, what's that word? Right. Apologist. I'm a Brady apologist. Um, Don't know but word. I was just thinking about, I was like, they're like, yeah, he's 6'5". And I'm like, damn, if I ever met Tom Brady, I would just look like such a little bitch. I'd give him a hug. So, oh, I would too. Just immediately. But like I'm, I'm his son. He, Kiss me. Yeah, but our, <laughs> our, our, he would. Our heads are resting on his chest. Perfect. Like he would be able to like caress our heads. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please, for the love of God, just hold me, Tom Please, Brady. Please, Tom Brady. <laughs> Dude, and then whisper in my ear like a like a like an audible at the line. I'd be like, I'd fall asleep. <laughs> From uh, ball like I'm Kobe 69. <laughs> The subject line is just, is just this pod in one picture. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Yep. And so, I, I, this I, is I, not I, a sports I, podcast. Not a sports podcast. <laughs> not a sports podcast. <laughs> Love you, bro. That's a great. That's a great email right there. That guy. I feel like that <laughs> linebacker did point. does listen to this podcast. Oh, God. What a dream. First yeah. guest, that guy? Please. That's what that those are the guests we should have. It's like dudes that look cool in college football. <laughs> hey, why'd you decide to put tape all over your belt? Just wondering. <laughs> and that's the only question we ask. Either that or indie local media people. <laughs> <laughs> right, 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 right. Uh from Matt. Subject line, Philip Wellman baseball ejection. Hey, fellas, have either of you ever been kicked out of a sports game? It was my sophomore year. My team just grounded into a double play, and we we're losing by 15 runs in the third <laughs> inning. I was walking up to the plate to bat, and I muttered, Jesus Christ, we can't do anything today. And then all of a sudden I hear, number 17, you're out of here. Yes, it was Catholic school, so maybe that was part of it. So I kicked out got kicked out of the game which was the first game of a doubleheader and was suspended for two additional games and had to apologize to the coach slap my ass harder than Gus Farad headbutting the wall and giving himself a concussion <laughs> Gus Farad bro name a better football name than Gus Farad where have all the QB names gone uh 
you honestly got the best end of the deal on that, bro. Double headers? Double headers fucking sucked. I think it's crazy that they're still a thing. We got a double header today. Wait, don't like real baseball teams play double headers? Yeah. Like still? Uh huh. Like a minor league baseball team, not major league, but a minor league baseball team will play two games in one day. Major league baseball teams do, dude. Shut up, bro. The Chicago Cubs will play two games in one day. Yep. Still? <laughs> I thought that was some travel baseball in Sarasota type shit. The you Cubs play the hey, Pirates twice Let's in play one. two. Twice in one. Dude, that's 79 innings with three people in the crowd. For what? Yeah, uh, hey, it'll, yeah, it'd be like a 105 first pitch and a 705 first pitch. Bro, I, if I play, so all the guys play both games, dude, if I was in the right field, I'd be like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, I mean, some, sometimes they don't. Sometimes, you know, somebody will get either during the day, they'll be down and then they'll play at night or, you know, vice versa. But yeah, a lot of times they'll just fucking play all 18, man. That is so crazy. Really? Do they need to? Does it happen Dude, all the at time? Least, no, no, no. It's it's very. It's usually like if it gets rained out in May oh, or something, they'll right. be like, "Hey, we're playing again in August. We'll do a <laughs> double header, day night double header there, something like that." Yeah. Where people <laughs> times two. Oh, whoa. Um, but at least in the bigs, like you're a professional baseball player. It's at a cool stadium and you have fans there watching and it's like on TV and it's fucking dude, a double header in high school. That's when you want to fucking die. Uh, why would I think that would be kind of cool? It's better for Matthew in this situation because he got kicked out and he got suspended. So then he could just sit on the bench and dick around and eat seeds and bullshit with people in the dugout. That's the fun part about baseball. Nothing better than that. It's a low, low key, the same vibe as like you're beating a team and they pull the starters. <sighs> totally pull the starters. Oh, damn. Okay. Oh, all right. I'm done for the game. When you get that, you're done. Oh, that feels good. Then you start eating candy, start looking back a little bit, looking at the cheerleaders. How forbidden was that? Looking at a cheerleader during the game, I was like, I'm going to get arrested or something. Looking into the crowd, talking to your friend, and then the other team starts coming back and you got to get back in the game. <laughs> Dude, I just, ate a, I just ate a whole rack of Starburst and you want me to play now? God damn. Who had the Starburst hookup for you on the sideline? Just the kid, sophomore, the kid that always had a concussion that didn't really have a concussion, <laughs> just wanted to be on the team. I have a concussion, can't play for four years. Cargo shorts, <laughs> towel hanging out of his pocket, jersey on, kind of a good number. I'm like, bro, you could so play, dude. Always had candy. <laughs> always that had was a, a dude you relied on. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey. Kind of poor. <laughs> Always kind of had a water bottle full of vodka in his trunk, too. I was like, dude, <laughs> too soon, too soon. Listen to heavy rap at that time. And then now it's just like the most plaid country guy ever. Yeah. What happened? All about getting bitches in high school. So married now. Four kids. Dogs. <laughs> Picture, realtor. I'm like, bro, you were the weed poor kid with vodka in your trunk in high school. Look at you now. Like, God, pick an identity and stay with it. Be yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Dude, weed poor kid always just seeps into our conversations. Hey, hey, hey. Biggest diamond earrings. <laughs> Just went through so many phases. Like he was the kid like with the big white tee at the mall. And then he was like at all the country concerts. I'm like, damn, dog. <laughs> he had a big truck, but he also listened to rap and had a knife. I'm like, I don't know who you are. That's the most common transition, bro. I swear. Fucking <laughs> dude who listened to nothing but young Jeezy and Gucci Mane in high school in 2009 than now just being the biggest fucking Luke Combs fan of all time. 
That's so true. I'm like, why? Where does that cross over? I'm like, did you hear a rap song <laughs> with a country artist in it? And you're like, I'm going to be this guy now. It's got to be the girl, man. I know. It's My girl, girl just like country. So I started going to, the, I just got the mega ticket for uh, for both of us one year. And like, now it's good, man. I mean, it's really good stuff. Bro, you used to wear fake Jordans. Now you're wearing cowboy boots. What happened? Boot cut jeans and cowboy boots with a straw hat at the Luke Combs concert. His mouth, his bro, his lips are lined. Fake Jordans lined with Zins. <laughs> He's got the R two L two L two R one R two. All lined with Zins. The top of the PS2 controller, all of them in. <laughs> R1, R2, L1, L2. Zinned up. <laughs> like, you going R1, L1? <laughs> I'm not going to lie. We used to do that with Dip. Oh, yeah. The boys. Who did you going it? R1, R2? Or are you L1, L2? <laughs> That's good. Are you L2, R1? I'm going L2, R1 if you're L2, R1. Bro, it's so stupid. I'm gonna kill God, gotta shut up. You see videos from his wedding, and it's just them just screaming that song by Luke Combs. Long neck, ice cold beer never broke my heart. Huh? You're like, that's crazy. Two years later, divorced. I'm like, <laughs> hey, hey, he's back to the Kevin earrings. back in the game. What are we doing tonight? <laughs> Mucky duck? Question marks on a story. <laughs> 16 bit or nah? Uh, let's go to Jimmy. <laughs> Kevin. You know a guy named Jimmy? You look just like him, man. You do. Um, Sorry. Here we go. Saying movie From question Jimmy. to the guy who's never watched movies. <laughs> uh, yep, but Clubhouse will get it. It's all good. Oh, true. Um, Jimmy says, R.W. McCorders. Ooh, I love that. These guys, fellas, I hope you're doing well. I'm sure like the rest of Clubhouse, we're all amped for the NFL season finally kicking off this week. This got me thinking about 2000s defensive backs that had some of the best names. R.W. McCorders, Dre, Bly, love this Champ guy, Bailey. Man. Quentin Jammer. Dude, what is going Jerry, on? Jerry Azuma. Oh Darren my God. Sharper. Jerry Azuma. What? God, Darren that. Sharper kind of had a rough ending there. But, uh, and since this isn't a Packers podcast, we must include the honorable mention pair of Al Harris and Mike McKenzie. I bet those two still give Hasselback nightmares after the pick six clincher in the 03 wild card. Slap my ass with the Mon Green's forearm sleeves while Brett Favre breaks my fingers with a bullet pass over the middle as I get lit up by Takeo Spikes on third and two. Second Takeo Spikes mention of the podcast. That's Clubhouse. I mean, what a name. And he kind of was Takeo Spikes that good. Or did he? J I think if his name was something else, people would be like, "He was all right." But his name was Tikio Spikes. Nah, so like, I, all right, he played like sixteen years in the league. Yeah, was he like? Was yeah. he? Was he Bills Mafia? Tikio Spikes. What was the team he like went yeah. crazy on? Uh, I believe he he was with the Bengals. He was with Cincinnati. He is with Buffalo. I think he had a Washington stint in there. I don't know. I get him and London Fletcher kind of mixed up. Takeo no, sports podcast. No sports podcast. Kind of want taquitos now, but just saying. <laughs> Taquito spikes. Qu Quentin Jammer on those Chargers teams with Antonio Cromartie. What the hell? Antonio Cromartie sounds like a liquor. I'm like, I'll yeah, I'll take a fifth of Cromartie. <laughs> Antonio Bacardi. <laughs> Antonio Cromartie. Hey, <laughs> Hey, Jammer as a corner? <laughs> I know, man. Like, come on. Are you sure? Hey, stage name? Is that a stage name? Dude, that's like uh, just in case, bro. <laughs> just in case, bro. Such a sick background. I still piece. don't believe that. I kind of I don't still either. don't believe that. <laughs> that's real. 
<laughs> I don't believe it. Just in case. Pitcher named Kenny Brigham. Come on, dude. Hey, that's a dad story that like didn't happen, but he he told you it did. You know that you're like, I don't know. Just in case. <laughs> My ass, dude. You're right. <laughs> Clinton Jammer's crazy. <laughs> Backup quarterback. Receiver James <laughs> Thrash. Come on. Let me do one more here. From Mike. Best ESPN commercial. Boys, saw this old ESPN commercial on Twitter today. Steve Irwin, the Crocodile Hunter, encounters the Florida Gators mascot. Thought you might enjoy it. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Do you remember that one? I don't think I do. Wait, Steve Irwin and who? Steve Irwin, he was the um, Crocodile Dundee guy. Um, the the Do you know him? I know, but he like, has a long blonde hair. Yeah. Who's the other he's guy? He's walking in the ESPN. <laughs> he's walking in the ESPN hallways. I think he's with Scott Van Pelt or John Anderson. And he's walking and the elevator opens up and it's the Florida Gator mascot. Ooh. And so Erwin, he's like, oh, we got a live one here. And then he jumps in and tackles him and tries to like wrangle him because <laughs> that's what he does. Mm-hmm. That's Pretty good. good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Um, I think maybe you showed me this, but the one where Stuart Scott is like training Kevin Garnett to be like bet like more dramatic or something. It's like, no, you got to say hey, this. Kobe Bryant. Oh, is Kobe? It was KG and no, it was I can't remember if it was KG and Kobe or Keyshawn Johnson and Kobe. God, what a poll. But like for them to like it's, those guys had to say yeah, right? Imagine turning down an ESPN commercial. But um was that like a sketch or a commercial? I think both. I think they used it as both. Because there's Kenny Main and Stuart Scott. With those two dudes training them about how like they're like, hey, at ESPN, we do our duty to help athletes and with media training. And you think that it's going to be them teaching them about like how the right way is to do it. But then Stu Scott's just like, Kobe, come on. Somebody's all on your grill. What do you say to him? What do you say to him? And then he, mm. he gets like, you know, he starts cussing and shit and it's money. Uh, um, I'm trying to think of other ones that are good off the top of my head. You know better than I do. The one where Scott Van Pelt's just sitting in a throne in his cubicle. And King James walks oh, in. He's yeah, like, yeah. you're in my seat. And Scott Van Pelt's like, what are you talking about? Dude? <laughs> uh, he goes, hey, you see my chair? And it's just clearly his throne. No, I haven't, LeBron. He's like, oh, you sure? I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, that, that one's money. That one's super good. Even hey, I like the ones where there's just no words that happen. Like the one where like Tiger Woods would just be walking through with the gallery and there's like eight hundred people following him through the cubicles. And that's it. Oh just this is sports center oh, pops up. Oh <laughs> man. Cold, bro. Who's making those? Step forward. <laughs> let me hug you. Hey, Christmas Eve this year. Fire up the reruns on they, ESPN two or whatever. They still do it? They still do that? I, 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 hey, I always check. I always check. Hey, hit me up for that. I'll I'll, I'll come by. Hey, I always check just in case. <laughs> because sports are my life. We haven't talked about sports one time uh, on this podcast, thank God. Yeah, I know. All right, TG100. Wow. Um, hell yeah, dude. Uh, <laughs> we've been... Uh, we started this, what, like October of 22? And we've been going two years now. And uh, the clubhouse just keeps growing, man. And that's all goes to show in the emails that we get every week and the comments that we get on YouTube and the tweets and the DMs that we get on Instagram and Twitter and everything. And uh, hell yeah, it's awesome. Like we always tell you, we love doing it and uh, we love having you guys on board with us. So appreciate it. And uh, here's still a hundred more. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> so uh, 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 uh. my grass is like, Hey, but yeah, t- <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, I need some water. <laughs> Come on. No, tell the homies, uh, get them in the clubhouse. 
Think about you every day, Clubhouse. Keep sending emails. Comment random football players on any video we have. It could be the comment under here, comment under anywhere. Um, tell the burpee girls, but we're going to keep cranking out the pods and they're just going to get better and better. Going on tour soon uh, to come see you guys. But send the send the uh, the old jerseys. Send the stupid uh, just subject email lines. Stuff makes my week for sure. Keep them coming. Hell yeah. <clears throat> All right. Uh, get your tickies to go see Benny Boy. And uh, like I said, DraftKings Sportsbook. Download it. Sign up using Joey, J O E Y. Deposit $5. <laughs> Burby Boy. Don't get Burby Boy, but you get $250 bonus bets. And uh, really appreciate that. And uh, yeah. Uh, until then, we will talk to you next week, Clubhouse. Lorenzo Neal. Charlie Batch. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>